I think you made a comment about uh, alcohol related companies, the things going up, the profits going up or whatever at the moment and you related that to, in terms of the, not so much a recession but inflation etc, the relationship there. But theoretically then would you not also kind of surmise that uh, with inflation going up, gas prices going up, that people are down far less disposable income. Absolutely. So you kind of you've got to balance the two haven't you? So if we look at if you, exactly that, let's look at that European retail sector. My guess has been killed. I know it's been killed. Okay. It's in the price, or it's partly in the price. So, you know, retail stocks have fallen a reasonable amount already. Okay. Because there was a thing, I, I read from yesterday about Whitbread, and Whitbread had uh, gone up, but it wasn't to do with the, the drinks business. It was actually to do with the Premier Lodge business. But if you assume then, you know, that alcohol price is going, you're going to look at Whitbread. That's, and about, then, that's about doing your homework. Yeah. Same thing. So yeah. Understanding what risk you're taking and what the stock is reacting to. And the diversity of the stock itself. Yeah. Now, a lot of people buy alcohol stocks in recession. Yeah. Because people say people still drink. And that's partly true. But, you know, again, the newspaper will spin the story any way they want it to. And it may be something really dull, like, you know, they've got an increase in their travel lodge business because they're cheap hotels mm. versus more expensive hotels, so they've gained market share. It's not as exciting a headline as saying, Everyone wants to get drunk in a recession. Well, it's one thing going to Lidl and paying 30 pence for a bottle of Budweiser and going to a bar and paying £4.50. There's a fundamental difference. And in times like that, people are going to go to Lidl and buy a bottle for 30 pence Correct. rather than the and, bar. And, you know, you can trade Lidl versus, versus Marks and Spencers. Okay. But again, you need to realise that a lot of this gets put into the price quite quick because everybody's looking at these yeah. things. So part of what you need to do is look forward. You know, what, is this going to continue? Why is it going to continue? Why am I sure that it's not all in the price now? Or have I found a different trend or something new to look at that the market hasn't really thought about properly yet? And you know, the, the ledger sector, is that like a good indicator in terms of how the economy in general is doing? I, Which one? The, the ledger, ledger or retail? Because Retail's brilliant for that. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, it, it's a very good idea. And you can look at it from either the economic numbers, such yeah. as retail sales, Okay. So, you know, the volume of retail sales to find out if they're slowing down or picking up, give you a good idea. Also, that often gets reflected quite quickly in the share prices. Mm. So the share price will give you an idea of how the economy is performing.